Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 6 of my Minecraft Let's Play on the Neo Network SMP, the server you guys can play along with me. Anyways, guys, I have been so excited. I haven't done this in so long because I haven't enjoyed a Let's Play in this long, but I want you guys to pause the screen here and read all of these ideas. Okay, well, as you read, if you did, we have a ton of things I want to do, an absolute ton. I don't know what we're going to do, but these next like four or five episodes are going to be action packed. Now we have had a few incidents and people have actually been doing some amazing stuff around our base. They've actually built this really cool wall all the way around here. A bunch of stuff we need to explore, but we need a way to get out of this wall safely. Now, obviously we could go over here and break the glass, but I don't want that. I want some sort of like obsidian doorway with some iron doors and a piston drawbridge, something cool. Um, it's going to be a little bit tricky because bedrock is on this layer. So I don't actually know if it's going to be possible, but we're going to do our best. I also discovered right before I started recording that we have a bunch of chickens. Now, I think what happened is someone brought a creeper over to this wall and, and, and it blew up. And uh, then they threw eggs in here and now there's chickens everywhere. So I'm going to just kill them because I don't think it's fair. We didn't legitimately get the chickens. Someone threw them at us. So we'll take the feathers, but we won't take the eggs. So yeah, uh, upon further inspection, I don't actually think, um, I don't actually think it's possible to build a drawbridge because there really is just like under most of this obsidian. So I think a better way to do this would be just building some obsidian across here with like some iron doors um, and then maybe like some sort of button <laughs> or something like that. I think that would work. So let's see if we have any extra obsidian. I love that we have some nice organized chest storage now. That makes things a whole lot less stressful. Um, I also don't really remember where I would have put the obsidian, so let me look. Okay, so I found the obsidian, and then we just need some iron. <laughs> we don't have any iron. We probably want to go mining at this point then. I think we used all of our iron for... I, I don't actually remember. Oh, the buckets for the lava. That's right. Um, so yeah, we don't have any iron at all, so we're gonna go to the resource world to go mining So to do that you just go to spawn And here we are at our wonderful spawn, and then we're just gonna do RTP and we're gonna click on resource You know, it's actually kind of funny I, I forgot to click record But what I just said was that I think it's awesome that the world knew we're doing an underground Let's play and literally spawned us inside of a cave so the idea here is that I, I, I want to stay underground for most things, but some things I have to get above ground. Um, like if we're going to make an automatic bamboo farm, an automatic sugarcane farm, an automatic melon farm, stuff like that, we're going to have to go underground or above ground to get those things. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting that these caves, so this world will reset every two weeks. So it's just here for resources. You can't claim anything in here or anything like that. But I'm happy that we spawned in a high up cave because look at all this stuff, man, all this coal. We're missing the basics. We have we have more diamonds than we have iron right now. Like, isn't that kind of crazy? So we're def Ooh, we're definitely gonna work on getting some more resources because we need them badly. No, oh. nice. <laughs> um, I want to try to stay high up. I know that's not always possible. Look at that, dude. The aim, the aim is impeccable. I've gotten so much better at the game through the years. I used to be absolute. I used to be absolutely terrible, um, you know, but I, I feel like I've gotten better. There's that thorns on our armor doing in, putting in some work as well, which is nice. I am happy we're finding a lot of coal, which, you know, with Fortune 3, we probably already have so much. And plus that MCMMO mining level at the top of the screen means we get double drops sometimes when mining too. But ideally, again, I really want iron. So let's scour the earth and let's, oh my gosh. Why are we getting invaded by zombies? Oh, nice. So I haven't found any iron. Oh, <laughs> of course, that's 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 exactly the timing I deserved. So I've been talking to a few players on the server, and you know, since this is like a multiplayer server, people have already defeated the Ender Dragon. Now, of course, I know that with End Crystals, you can respawn the Ender Dragon. So we're gonna have to fight the Ender Dragon in a very fun and unique way. Um, but I think all of the elytras in the end, for the most part, might already be looted. So we may have to resort to using the auction house to buy some wings. Um, like, I don't want to buy them via the auction house, but I want to lock it behind me defeating the ender dragon. Because we could afford one of these, which would be awesome. Plus, they have Unbreaking 5 on them, which is really nice. 
Um, yeah, I mean, still, like, we have 12 iron, <laughs> we have, like, five stacks of coal. Maybe we'll try to go really deep. We'll, we'll try the other strategy, you know, find one of those big iron ore veins. Um, or just use one of these. Oh, it actually worked. Dude, I had no confidence that that would work, and it worked. Let's go. And we found a deep iron vein, which is already really rare. Oh, and two deep iron veins. Ooh. I'm getting actually really lucky here. Nice. Some gold, too. I'm really happy it spawned me in like a big dude what i thought iron was supposed to spawn like way more commonly up like higher in the world and now we're finding all this iron as we've gone deeper into the cave like i said don't look a gift horse in the mouth guys if someone's giving you something good don't question it unless it's illegal you know strangely enough i have a feeling you know what no we're gonna go mine in the custom uh, the custom biome world. Check this out. Okay, so regardless of if you're a Bedrock or Java player, you can just do slash RTP and you can go to the custom overworld, which is basically just a normal default overworld that generates with custom biomes. So let's go here and check this out. Um, okay, so it looks like we have a pretty nice looking forest, but again, like I said, I'm playing underground, so let's do a little MLG bucket and let's just go straight down and put a block over us. So hopefully we can find some custom caves because they look incredible. Maybe that'll make mining more exciting for you guys. Okay, so it looks like we've just found a normal cave, but it should start to be a little bit different. It's cool because not only the biomes are customized, but like the actual caves. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, we'll find another cave. Don't worry guys, I'm still searching. I haven't given it up, but so for another thing, right? So most of the villages around Neo Town have already been like looted. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some quests on the server, which are they're pretty easy to do. And with those quests, you get something called credits. And then in the credit shop, which is where you spend the credits, you could, for example, buy some villager spawn eggs. So we can get some mending villagers that way. Um, and it just gives you a lot of fun objectives to do, dude. I'm just having so much fun. I'm so excited. We'll do maybe a questing episode tomorrow. But yeah, I'm still looking for you. I heard lava pop. But I was gonna say, yeah, I'm still looking for some custom caves, cause like, dude, they're so nice. Oh! Um, I don't know if this one's custom, we'll find out. I may also wanna take this opportunity to mine um, a little bit more obsidian. It's really nice, like I said, with the super breaker to mine the obsidian. I still have to wait a little bit, but... Uh... Ah, it's too slow, dude. Ah, oh, I got rid of my water! That's... I guess the torches have finally betrayed me because I always have torches in my hand. You guys know me. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's gonna be a cave. Oof, okay, well, I'll keep looking. Guys, I've done it. I've finally found a custom cave, let's go. <gasps> oh, let's go, okay, okay, wow. This is a mob-filled cave. Okay, well, we're gonna cod zombie, as cod zombie them. So we'll get them in a big, like, big wad and then we'll just have a creeper explode. Nice. Okay. Yeah, dude. These custom caves... Oh, okay. I'm not sure why they blew up there. Oh, that's right. The sword has a huge level of knockback. This is like the biggest army of mobs, dude. Jeez. No! Okay, that could have killed me very easily. And they're really defending this cave, but look at all these resources, man. Uh, I don't know if we necessarily need a whole lot more coal, but I might as well get this one. This is like the fourth coal vein that I've gotten, and I'm loving it because we have, <laughs> we have, oh, okay, hello, buddy. We have so much coal, like, I think I may just have to limit myself because I doubt we're ever going to use this much coal. So, like, look, I mean, how many stacks is that? That seems like quite a bit. We do have a good bit of iron, like, I mean, because of that one cave we found. So, I mean, we have enough where we could go back, but I really want to keep mining and show off these custom caves because, dude, they're... They're, they're pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty dang sweet. Oh my gosh, the mobs, dude. It's like playing single player. There's actually enough mobs around everybody. Okay, come on, buddy. Yeah, I know. I know you want to fight. You were programmed to fight. I cannot blame you. I do wish I had a water bucket still, because that would be kind of helpful. <gasps> That's not a good combo. Thank you for stopping. Their AI is just funny sometimes. Okay, we're just gonna run past you. Let's see if we can find some deep caves. There's like amethyst caves. There's all these really cool variants. Oh, that's a dead end. 
Here we go. So I went back the way. Remember when we came in over here? I'm going back down this way. But other ways seem to lead to small caves. This one, eh, it looks bigger. So we'll try this out. Maybe we can find a cool, looks like this direction and some stuff. I mean, there, there's a few things you can see are different. Like these little walls on the ground look like little stalagmites and stalactites. Of course, we actually have them in the game, but there's no variants for the other parts of the caves, which is kind of weird. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, we definitely have enough iron. I think we can go back and work on some of the micro farms. I did kind of expand the stacks out here, but three and a half stacks of iron, I will definitely take that. And seeing as how we're about to start using redstone, probably want to get all the redstone we see too. I want to actually use some redstone this series because I don't know, I just haven't been motivated on like a normal let's play in a while. Like I, I want to build something cool that you guys can come on and see and also just build something cool that actually works. I want to be able to AFK near my, uh, oh, what do we throw out? I want to be able to AFK near, like in my base or near my base and just have those little micro farms work like for me always and making us some money because we will start, uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We will start using money at some point. We have like 1.7 million, which we've just got from doing quests. So I feel like we'll dive into more of the SMP specific features later on in this series. Um, because I, I feel like, well, for me personally, I don't want to buy everything. I like to play it where I get it myself. But, you know, everyone's different. They may not like that. Yeah, I think we'll call it quits here. Unless this is a big iron vein, and I don't think it is. Okay, this looks like a big part of the cave. It goes deeper. Okay, well, we're going deeper if it goes deeper. Oh, my gosh. There's so much stuff. <laughs> Like, what's going on over there? We could, we have, like, a four-way war going on, and, and like, I, I didn't even start... Ooh, we probably do want the mushrooms. I can throw out that, and then I can throw out these two arrows. Just to get some of the mushrooms, because we could do, like, a mushroom farm. I don't know if I've ever done one of those, but that could be kind of cool. Oh, my gosh, it goes even deeper. I don't have a water bucket. That's the best option I have. <laughs> I don't have anything. I could get a lava bucket. I'm not sure what help that would be, but I could get a lava bucket. Yeah, we need to go back because we only have one more torch. And I am not trying to lose... I'm not trying to lose my life in lava. Okay, I'll see you guys back at home. Okay, well, here we are back at home. Nice. First of all, get a water bucket to regenerate that. Doesn't look like anything crazy's happened here. We do have slime chunks, though. Um, so you can see this slime right here. So this is a slime chunk right here, and then I figured out that this is a slime chunk too. So that means we can make some automatic slime farms, which will be really cool. I'm so excited. Dude, this, I'm a little overwhelmed because I have too many things planned, but that's definitely better than the alternative where I don't like have anything planned, like in some other series. So I think what I'm going to do for now is smelt the iron. I don't know if I have like a smeltery built, you know, like the... I don't think I've even played for oh, oh, I did do this off camera. I did build a staircase. I was trying to figure out how to make a nice design, and I decided to go for something that's like this. I don't know. I kind of like it. We also want to reduce the torch spam, so I don't know how to do that in here necessarily. Maybe some gray carpet and glowstone on the ground, but out here we're going to use moss carpet and uh, glowstone on the ground, so that's going to be really fun. Um... Um, yeah, I guess we should work on that drawbridge. So let's see if I do have... I know I have one blast furnace at least. I don't know where it went, but we have one somewhere. Let me let me look for it. Dude, I am I'm not very smart. The blast furnace is right there. <laughs> it was staring at us the entire time. Okay, but that means I want to put something else on here. Probably just a regular furnace that would be fine. Um, and I do kind of want these furnaces. So let me let me put up like the mushrooms. We don't necessarily we don't necessarily need the mushrooms at the moment, so we'll put those up. And then we can put the mob drops up. Oh, this oh, I love having chests organized. It makes me feel good. Um, I don't really want to put them here. I don't. I, I, frankly, I don't really want them in my house. But if we're gonna put them in our house, maybe like this would be a cool pattern. You know what I mean? And then we could put a log going down right there or something. Just because, you know, like, I want to utilize the space in here, and then maybe there could be, like, a little secret thing behind here. <laughs> I don't know. We for sure have to put a torch here if we're going to block this off all the way, though. And then we could put smokers and blast furnaces and whatnot. And then I'll put a log right there, too. That could look pretty cool. Let's see. Do we have one? Who am I kidding? We, of course, have one. Uh, we use this. I think we just need three. No, we only really need two. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 
That looks pretty good. I don't, I don't know about you. I think that looks pretty good. Anyways, we're going to start smelting the iron. Obviously, we don't have enough, you know, blast furnaces to do it all in there. But let's go make this drawbridge. I think this is going to be a... What? I think this is going to be a really good build. Yeah, maybe I didn't need to get more redstone. <laughs> you see how much we have? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have so many diamonds. So, I, I want to build something cool, like, for the enchanting area. I, I want it to feel special. Uh, we may need to go on a diamond mining expedition to make that happen. Uh, but I want to build something in here, like for the diamond mine. I also want to move the cows. I don't particularly love them just strewn about on the ground. So we're going to make a barn probably over in this area. And this can be our little crop area. Um, oh, and I added some bushes and trapdoors. That's right. That's the other thing I did. I put some leaves down, put some trapdoors down. And I think that really helps the build pop. And then the only other thing I did was put slabs on the outer edge here. So that way the roof looks a little different. But I personally, I, I, think, this, I think this house is turning out just fine. I really like it. And uh, it'll just evolve. Oh, I guess my inventory was full. I'm glad I'm here to grab these. But yeah, all these people have just been building this, like, complicated pathway around here. Oh, it looks so good, man. So thank you guys for helping this place look nice. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I think I have everything I need. Oh, did I put up the obsidian again? Oh, no. <laughs> Where did I put it? That's right. That's right. I put it in here when I was using it. Okay. Um, now, I wanted to make like a little drawbridge or something like that. We can't do it with pistons, unfortunately, because of the bedrock. But I can, however, still make it look nice. Um, I also don't know exactly where I want the front of it to be. Um, maybe like over... Maybe like over here or something. I feel like would be a good area for us to get out. I also don't know how you get to the second story up there. Because I don't have an elytra or anything. So maybe I'll build a little ladder system. Um, so we'll just do something like this. Two block space. Iron in the middle. Um, and then we'll make a little like frame. That we can put doors in. Something like this. Because I don't think people can break iron doors like with explosives. So we should be okay to do this. Like this should be secure. Like I'm thinking, I, I'm not 100% sure. Something like this, and then maybe just put a button and a button. And then I don't believe people can use these buttons either. So we should be fine. Like we should be fine. The edge of our claim is right here, so they can't use these. But now we can get out here and go explore. So let's let's see what all these signs. How's it keep on keeping on? Brax plays was here. Die please is, I, I don't know what that is, but there's tons of stuff on here, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so cool. It's just really nice to like see from the community, like actually in a world. Now, I told people to build bases around here, and I think some people took that literally. Um, I don't know if anyone has like bases down here or... Oh, this is the staircase. I was asking, how do you even get up here? And I, I guess it's pretty simple. Yo, what's up? How you doing, Pink Pig? Um, I saw this base up here. Um, one of our moderators was here. But yeah, look, they just have a little something going. I think someone even has like an automatic cactus farm around here too. So it's cool to see the community kind of coming together. And uh, keep in mind, if you come here and you grief or you steal, you get permanently banned. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to be. Let's head back into our base. Let's get some work going. I, I, I have so many things. Maybe we'll do the barn now. I'm really not sure. Well, regardless of what we do, we're going to need a lot more wood. So I'm going to start just planting trees in here. And hopefully with this, we'll have enough. We still have a lot of wood to build a barn. I don't think we'll build it out of, like, primarily oak wood. But you guys know, I just love oak wood, okay? I, I can't help it. I don't know why, I just, I, it's my favorite wood, okay? Mm, maybe dark oak wood's my favorite. I don't know, but this should be good as far as trees go. Sure, we'll plant one right in front of our house. And I think we already have, like, a lot of wood. Yeah, <laughs> we already have enough for a barn for sure. Yeah, we'll be good, we'll be good. Okay, so then let's go build a barn. Maybe get some lanterns going before we do anything else. <gasps> we have a chicken in the house? How do we get a chicken in the house? All right, well, you guys in the comments, pick a name for this chicken. I'll try to get a name tag. You know what? This is what I'll use my money for. I will buy a name tag. Is it? Oh, <laughs> nobody's selling any name tags. Okay, well, there's no name tags in the auction house, but pick a name for him and we'll name him as soon as I can buy myself a name tag. But yeah, I want to make like just an absolute ton of lanterns because I feel like that's something that could really b like pick this house build up and make it look a little bit better. Because at the current moment in time, it's a little bit shabby if I'm if if I'll admit it. Especially with all the torches on the ground, I do not personally like torch spam either. I know I'm very bad about it, but I want to get better. Okay, I want to be better for you guys. 
We're good. To, ooh, this is not going to work with all the wood in our inventory. Let's hope the server doesn't clear the entities on the ground while I do this. All of my stuff. There we go. Lanterns. There we go. Stack of lanterns. Ooh, okay, nice. We're good. You know what re What we really need to get going to is a, some, some like wheat fields again. Um, you know, whenever we broke our original house, we, we just lost a lot of stuff. Uh, we, we don't have anything. So maybe we'll do some farms. I'm trying to think, because if I put the cows over here in like a nice little barn structure, uh, that's going to take up most of this area. But let's let's start to hypothesize what kind of build we want to do. Probably three blocks from the edge, something like that. Um, that's three, that's three. Just there's a little bit of room to like walk around here. That was a little bit far over. And I don't, again, like I don't know exactly the build I'm going for here. But I think a traditional barn would be kind of cool with, you know, like a barn door. I don't actually know how a barn looks really, but you know, I'm from Oklahoma, but I, I, I don't know how a barn looks. I, I, maybe I should, but I do not know how a barn looks. Um, I think my neighbors growing up had a barn. It was one of those old tin barns though. It wasn't like a, a wooden barn. Yeah, sure. You know what? Something like that'll work. So we went over one on each of them and I'll kind of copy the pattern. So I will be right back when that's done. Hopefully it ends up looking pretty good. Okay, so we have this kind of like the frame of the barn done now The only issue is is I'm not a hundred percent sure But if we grow flowers down here with bone meal will we end up actually like getting Some sort of it's cool. This is what I want. I wanted people to be able to watch me and just like hang out um, Now some people try to abuse it with fireworks and stuff and then I have to kick them and I'm like bruh Because I can't hear um, but I am curious. Yeah, like can we we have bone meal in here? What kind of flowers are gonna grow here? And I might have prematurely grabbed these wheat seeds. I, I think our inventory is struggling a little bit. Um, do we get flowers down here? Okay, so we get some grass. Okay, but there's some yellow flowers, which is good. But like, ideally, I want to get some red flowers so we can make some red concrete. Um, okay, just looks like oxide daisies. We could do a yellow barn. I mean, you know, I like to use a lot of yellow stuff. But I'd really like if we could get a red flower, and I don't think we're going <laughs> to... It's all yellow. But the thing is, if you grow them in the same spot, right? Yellow flowers, they're only going to spawn in some places. So maybe if we go to like the other side of the room, like if we went over here, maybe we'd get yellow or red. Oh, we got a blue. Okay, so we're getting close. There's a red. There's a red. Okay, we're onto something. We're onto something. This area right here. Nice. Okay, well, I'm going to do this for a while. Okay, so a little bit of an update. I now have, I used all the bones we have to make bone meal. And we only have one red poppy. I swear we got more than one. But apparently we didn't. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I've been going on this for so long. Look how many flowers. Like, okay. L l look at the proportions here. We have 11 poppies. We have two, two, almost two stacks of dandelions. So looks like the red flowers. I, I wish they were still called like roses or red flowers back in the, like they were in the old days. But there's the boomer in me talking, the Minecraft boomer. By the way, I don't think you guys know I'm a Zoomer, right? Like I was born in 98, so I'm like the earliest generation of Zoomers. So I didn't grow up with a phone really. Um, I, in elementary school, I had like a flip phone just to call my mom. And like, I, I feel like people think I'm like actually like really old. I'm, I'm 24. I'm, I'm not that old, man. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely like older, but like I'm not, I'm not old. Okay. Stop calling me old in the comments. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate it. Okay. So we need dirt and gravel. I don't even remember. We need sand to make concrete, don't we? And we definitely don't have any more sand, so we gotta go get some. Let me grab that real quick. Uh, one weird thing is that every single like level you get with excavation, so if you do like slash excavation, you can see that um, for some reason I have a 2% chance for finding like XP orbs when mining like gravel and sand and dirt. Uh, but something else that I also get is for some reason I, I get glowstone dust whenever I'm breaking sand. So we ha that's why I have glowstone dust in here. I haven't been to the nether, uh, but I also did get some clay, you know, in case we ever want to build with some bricks. Now I have silk touch, so it's the actual clay block, which is super helpful. Now, if I'm remembering this correctly, I believe it's just like three sand and three gravel, or maybe it's, maybe it's four and four, I don't remember, and then the dye. Yeah, there we go. That's probably, that's probably enough. I mean, honestly, we didn't have enough red dye. I think that'll be enough. So I'll go ahead and transform this. If you want the best method for doing it, man, I'll tell you this right now. Just dig out three blocks like this, put water here, put this in your offhand, hold down, and keep mining. Nice. 
Okay, nice. And then I don't remember if I used all of my bone meal. No, I still have a little bit because I wanted to make a few pieces of white dye as well to make some white concrete because then we can make something really cool. Okay, and then when you're done, just fill in the hole. And like that, you have a concrete dream. Look at all this concrete. We got white, we got red. It is absolutely perfect. Um, and then I wanted to find a way to implement some deep slate, but I don't really think a barn <laughs> is like the best place to do that. So this is kind of the frame. I feel like I do need some more stripped oak logs, so I'm gonna make those real quick. Not very exciting, but something we definitely have to do. Okay, and now I don't need to make them into the version that has four sides, um, because we'll honestly, we'll just do something like this. Um, I just wanted to have like a lot of wood in the frame. That way we can kind of make the, I don't know. I have some good ideas for this barn. I'm getting inspiration for ones with a barn. Usually I, I, I end up building a barn and I, I hate it at the end. I did something wrong, didn't I? These sides are not even. Oh no. <laughs> you can tell where it's not even by the fact that it's not even. Oh no. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. Need, need not worry. I, oh, I bet you guys were angry about that. There we go. Now it looks good. And now we can use these versions because these are a lot cheaper than the other ones. For some reason, the other variants are like super expensive. You have to make four of these and then you only get, for some reason, three. I don't quite understand it, but you know what? That's that's just the Minecraft logic that's, that's in the game. And we can still make these support beams look nice and cool. And then up top, it will be a little bit different. Probably do one here and then do same one on the other side. Okay, so something like that. There we go. That looks good to me. And like I said, I want this whole thing to be kind of framed with wood. I'm not really sure why. I just, I don't know. I just have this this feeling. So we got to make more of this stuff. Oh, no. You know, I saw someone in chat sell, say selling cheap cave spider spawner. Because you can pick up spawners without silk touch. Which we'll, we'll, we'll show that off in a bit. But um, I saw someone saying cheap silk or cheap uh, cave spider spawner on AH 175,000 so if we do slash bal top who's the richest player so Brax plays MCU oh my gosh 38 million I mean we're not that far off we're, we have 38 times less money but you know we're not that far off okay I'm not I'm not I'm not self-conscious no 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 we're doing fine we're doing fine okay <laughs> just cope I gotta cope um I think something like this would be good. I mean, like I said, it's going to be a barn, but it's not going to be like a, a barn barn. You know what I mean? Like where it's all made of red stuff. I, I, I wanted kind of a wood, a wood fantasy barn. I don't know. Okay. Don't ask me something like this. And then we can go ahead and fill in with the red and the white um, in what exact pattern. I'm not sure. And then we'll go around and texture it. Um, but like here we could do, we want to have some sort of trap doors. And probably I'm trying to think like I just want to like I, I just want to build a barn without any bounds. I'm not gonna look at any you know pictures of them or anything. That looks like a McDonald's. Hold on, <laughs> we will figure this out. Okay, we'll figure it out together. Um, yeah, that 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 really looks like a barn, dude. <laughs> oh no. Um, let me work on this a little bit. <laughs> oh, this is something. This is something for sure. I don't even know if the horse... Can you even get in the barn? Can you Can you go in there at all? I, I can't ride him. I don't have a saddle, but I don't think... Oh, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, he just walked in there. He's like, ooh, this looks nice and cozy. I'll go ahead and go in here. Okay. So if I was to look at this now, it kind of sort of looks sort of something kind of like a barn. Sorta. Dude, the horse is trying to eat bedrock. <laughs> um I don't think you can do that, buddy. Oh, 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 okay. Never mind. He okay, okay, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm not judging. You're eating the grass. Never mind. See, but doesn't this world feel more lively with all these trees around here? It, it feels more like a normal house. So I I, ha I have some ideas. I said I didn't want to use deep slate in here, but I think we're gonna have to in order to make this look not weird. So let's just grab a bunch of deep slate stuff and we don't have our stone cutter down. I want to make like a blacksmith area, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but something like that could be cool. Yeah, because we still have like a ton of polished and we have all these stairs and slabs and stuff. And this can just help us probably make it look a lot better. 
Because, yeah, in its current state, it looks a little strange, I will admit. It looks a little bit strange. So let's see if we can amplify it a little bit. We could even put, like, some sort of... Hmm, some sort of roof on it. I don't know exactly how to do the roof, but let me let me try some stuff. Okay, I think this will make it look a little bit better. Do a 360 MLG. Um, yeah, I, I think we're on the right track for sure because it just looked a little weird before. It was very flat. See, the problem was is these are all in the same plane, so it just ends up looking weird. But for instance, if we were to take these down here to give it some moral support. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I actually, you know what? I, I like that more than how it was. I'm still not super happy with it, but I think we can mold it into some, like I said, I feel like building is like, you know, doing clay work, right? You build like, you start with a lump of clay and then you shape it into what you want. Whenever you start something, it usually doesn't, you know, start off looking great. Um, I'm going to make a craft, a, a little impromptu crafting table here. Uh, will we make it look fancy? Probably not, because we're, we're going to break it. Um, but let's go ahead and just make some of these. Some trap doors. I feel like we're going to need a lot anyways. Uh, 40. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if we'll need 40, but we are going to need a lot. And then we can go ahead and just like put some windows in here with trap doors. I really do... Uh, I mean, it helps with the barn feel. It definitely helps. Well, let me keep molding this thing, and we'll see if we can end up making it look really good. I feel like up here it needs some trap doors too, for sure. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. There we go, guys. I, I I think this looks a whole lot better now. That's what a little bit of texturing will give to you. Ah, oh, nice. And then you know, if if you don't like the way that those you know look exactly, we could put some stairs above them. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Gives even more depth. And now just to copy that to the back. Nice. Okay. Absolutely perfect. I am happy with it. Um, I don't know what kind of floor material we can use in here. I'm probably just going to change it all to be like path blocks. Seeing as how those kind of look like, you know, somewhere animals would be living. And then we got to figure out a way to, you know, get in and out of here um, with the animals. Now, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Um, seeing as how like the animals can, you know, walk out of a door. So we'll figure out something in here. I'm sure we don't need to keep like a ton of cows, but I definitely want to keep a good bit. Okay, so I think a double airlock system will work perfectly. Uh, so what I mean is we're going to put fence gates in the front like this. And then we will have another fence here just like this. Now it looks a little weird. <sighs> See, that's, that's what I was kind of afraid of. So I think what I'll do is maybe... Maybe switch out the blocks in here for something else. I don't want grass in here. Um, but definitely, I don't want to have like dirt and then bedrock. It just looks bad. So let's go think of another material. Maybe gravel or something. Hmm, I'm not sure. You know, we actually have quite a bit of wheat. And while it may be expensive, we can always get more wheat. What if we did like a hay bale kind of floor? Would that look weird? I, I don't think so. Having a hay floor is kind of a normal thing. Let's go ahead and craft all these we can. That's 35. That may be enough for the floor. Let's find out. Oh. Okay, so I ended up crafting the rest of our hay after running out the first time. We don't have enough hay. So we're going to need to actually build a planter farm. Now, the reason I want to do it like this is because I feel like the villagers got something going, right? I, I feel like they have it right somewhat. Um, we don't have like a lot of room to work with, but I definitely did want to build it out of logs. Just in the traditional villager style. Um, and doing it in front of the f farm would kind of make sense. Um, like something like this. And just leaving a little one block space for everything else um, around. So just like the traditional villager style farm. Something like this. And I definitely want to leave that same two block space in front. So it won't be like a giant farm or anything, but that's perfectly okay. I think that having a nice little compact farm like this should look good. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for it. Okay, this should be perfect. And then I also want to start doing some paths in here. Um, you know, I like having the grass floor and all, but maybe it would be cool to have like a few paths that kind of go along on the ground just to kind of lead our way through these choppy waters, you know, going all the way over here to our barn. You know, it, m it might be a little hard to navigate, you know? So why not do a nice little gravel path? Yeah, I think that looks good. Cool. Okay, I'll run with this. Nice. Okay, and I just got a really good idea. I want to build a well because, you know, if we're going to have like an infinite water source, like for right now, I'll go ahead and just like make one right here. 
but I want to build a well because, you know, I feel like I, instead of having, you know, I just had that l weird little spot on the ground. Uh, one, two, three, four. I had that l weird little spot on the ground I was using as an infinite water source. And uh, I don't know. It's just not the same as having like a... That shouldn't happen. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to make another infinite water source. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Nice. And then we can go ahead and till all this. We don't have a hoe on us, but we can till all this. And this will be a nice little wheat farm in their traditional villager style. I may make this not as close to the edge over here. Uh, nah, I, I think this will be fine. I, it, it's nice. It's like, you know, a nice planter style farm. I kind of like it. Simple, but nice. Well, all that bone meal, all this effort yielded us two blocks of hay. So we are getting closer to finishing it, but that's not something we'll be able to like finish the interior of this episode because we need 9, 18, 27... Yeah, we need 108 wheat, which is like almost like two and a half stacks plus a little bit extra. So we'll, we'll just let that, we'll just let that cook. Okay, just let me cook, let me cook. Okay, so I think this looks good for a farm right in front of our barn, which is nice. We're building everything compact, right? We don't have a giant area, but we're gonna make good use of it. Um, again, I wanted to build a well and uh, probably the well will go somewhere like over here. I think that would be a good area because you know, it's kind of near our farms and stuff. So let's just mark out a little bit of an area on the ground and let's just build something. I don't know of an exact shape for the well or what it's going to be made of, but I do know that I want to implement a few cobblestone slabs and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and grab a few slabs and then maybe like, I haven't made cobblestone slabs yet. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Can we do walls in here as well? Oh, nice. I kind of like this thing, man. I, I kind of like this thing. So... <laughs> I don't know the exact shape of a well, but something like this. Um, and this should be kind of a well, I think, right? And then you put the water in here, and you put the water in here, and then we just build some sort of roof around it. Uh, something like this. I don't know. Let me let me build a roof. And then I believe we just need some chain and a cauldron, which I believe all of our iron should have smelted by now. So we should actually have a good bit. Let's go. Nice. We're finally not... <laughs> We're not slacking on the iron front anymore. I don't believe I've ever even made chain. I think it's like a nugget plus like a, uh, like, I think it's like this, like this maybe. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly it. Oh, okay. Nice. And I don't even need to make any more nuggets. I think just four is fine. And then I believe a cauldron is just like that. That's a mine cart. That's a cauldron. Thumbs up for me. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, I don't want to lose the dirt. Okay, and then you can see the roof is pretty much done. It's just a basic well. I'm not going for anything fancy. I know it's offset, the actual like cauldron is, but I think that looks fine. Now it looks like a nice little well. And then of course we need to figure out a way to light it up. We could do, we could do a lantern like, we can't actually put a lamp. Oh, that's on the upper half of a block. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I need to bring this down a slab then, which is fine, like that. There we go. And then I can take my lanterns and then I can make it pretty. Nice. Let's go, dude. We have a nice little well. I like that a lot. Kind of proud of it. It's very basic, but <gasps> it's very basic, but I think it looks good. Okay. Well, I think the next logical step for us is we need to get rid of the torch spam on the ground. So we're going to go to the nether. We're going to get some glowstone. But before we go to the nether, we need to build something for the nether portal. Because um, I don't know exactly how I want to do it yet, but I know I don't want to do it just like on the ground somewhere random. I want to make this special. Okay, so I have kind of a special idea for a nether portal. First of all, I want it to be huge. Um, I think it's going to be... I don't know exactly how big. I do need my axe for just a second. We'll put it over here. Let's break all these trees out of the way first. Okay, so the trees are cleared, as you saw. And I want to find the center of this area. So a good way to do that, we could just take some cobble deep slate. Let's just build over like one, two, three, four, five. And let's do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do six, seven. Then we'll do six, seven. And then we'll do two more on each. And then so we have the center here, which is perfect. Okay, so we're going to use a super breaker. Just so we can break it quickly. So we have the center of our nether portal. Um, and I want to put it like right, I, I, I think, can you do double nether portals? Like can you do nether portals next to each other? Cause that would be kind of cool. I just want to have a really big nether portal. I don't know how big, 
but I finally want to have like a nice big nether portal. Uh, obviously, we don't have enough obsidian, which we can go and get more. It's really not that hard to get, uh, but I want to make this symmetrical too. So I'm going to go grab some obsidian in uh, another dimension because obviously we don't have nearly enough. And once that happens, I will catch you guys in a bit. Okay, well, we've almost gotten close to a stack, and I'm pretty sure that'll be enough. It is nice that sometimes I get double obsidian from the MCMMO ability, and we have, yeah, a little bit over a stack. Um, okay, and I, I honestly might... I, I want to get some purple glass, so what I'm going to do is I am going to find some flowers in the overworld that are red. Um, or maybe we can get them back home. Uh, and yeah, we're going to find a few in the overworld, because it's going to take too long if they're underground. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna flash my coordinates. I'm in the overworld. If someone wants to make a base here, that would be awesome. Eleven thousand five hundred three, negative four thousand twenty-seven. Look at this. You got a mangrove swamp to your left. Now look how beautiful this is. We could get some mangrove wood, but like I said, only thing I'm here for. I'll do it on camera. It's just a few red flowers and a few. I, we already have corn flowers, but the reason I want these is that I can just make purple dye like this. You combine these two, and you get purple. Nice. I don't even need that much, so I'll just do this for just a second here. Oh, well, never mind. It looks like somebody already has a base here. Yeah, I guess it's claimed, but they, they, they haven't finished it. But somebody already has a base here. <laughs> so come live near them, I guess. It's kind of cool. Leaking cords. I'm leaking cords. It's okay. It's claimed, so you can't touch it anyways. But it's kind of cool that, like, someone all the way out here... There's so many people play... Like, thousands of people play on this server. So there's so much stuff just, like, all around the world. So cool. This will be more than enough for sure. 14 is perfect. Okay, and I assume players are still sitting here kind of watching me build and play, which means my furnaces were loaded in, which is awesome. So they should be all done. Nice. Look at all the glass we got. So I did. I did some prep work. I actually started smelting the glass, okay? Look at, look at me. Neo's improving. He's working ahead. Look how much. We got a barn done. We got a farm done. We got this done. We got that done. We got everything done. That'll be more than enough purple glass. Okay, cool. So let's go over here and let's build this thing. We also probably need our obsidian. And uh, I already did mark it out. We had the exact number to mark it out perfectly. So now we have the shape and we just got to make this bad boy into a square. Okay, now the idea here is to unlock my scroll wheel and use these pallet, this pallet of blocks. I may actually want a little bit more, uh, Less of that and just some actual purple glass. So I'll show on the replay what I do, but I think it'll look pretty cool. Dude, I think this thing turned out awesome. That, th that's that's the Logitech mice for you. You can unlock your scroll wheel and just scroll your hotbar like that. And, uh, dude, this thing turned out so good. Let's go ahead and light it, see how it looks. Oh, yeah, dude. That's like the best nether portal I've ever built. Look at that. That's so awesome. Okay, well, let's see where our nether spawn is. It's going to be around everyone from Neo Town, so it's going to be crazy. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this stuff around here already. What the heck is going on? Um, okay, so it's a little wild in here. I think people have... Oh, I think people have already been here. Oh, please, don't kill me. Do not kill me. Oh my gosh. But yeah, people have definitely been here already because... Oh, I thought he was about to attack me. I was like, dude, why are you hitting me? Um, oh, there's a bastion right next to us. Looks like that's probably already been looted for sure. I just wanted to get a little bit of an up view on here. I think I still have this. And someone just defeated the Ender Dragon. Well, that was a very loud noise. Um, I'm just curious, like, what, what all have people done here? Because I want to get, ideally, glowstone. Um, but if it's going to be... Oh my gosh, why are there so many of you up here? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll, we'll look around in a sec. I, I think the baby guys will attack you, so we'll get them too. Okay. Wow, he actually didn't hit us? These guys have huge range. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Yeah, this is... <laughs> People have definitely already gotten most of the glowstone, so this is tricky. 
We're gonna have to travel. Oh, what's up, Trumpery Rhyme? He's in like every single stream. Dude is an absolute G. He's seriously in like every stream. I don't know if you guys watch my streams, but like he's in every single one of them. So we're gonna go try to find some glowstone. Um, <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. All right, me and me and me and Trumpery Rhyme gonna go get some glowstone here. Um, we're gonna have to travel quite a ways. Now my inventory is a little bit jumbled, which is my mistake. I shouldn't have brought this much stuff, but we can get rid of a few things. So let me do that. Okay, well, me and uh, Trumpery Rhyme here, we have found a few pieces of glowstone up here. Looks like he has some sort of jump enchantment on his boots. We do have custom enchants on the server, too. And they work on Java and Bedrock. There's no features on the server that are just exclusive to Java. Except for, like, weapon skins and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, Bedrock Minecraft doesn't support server skins the same way Java does. But that's not something we can fix. Okay, so we should have all the glowstone. I can just fall. Um, I got really good protection, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, nice. So we have 15 glowstone already. That's good. I assume he will give me the glowstone he gets. Probably. Maybe. Can I have the glowstone? Potentially. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And then I did locate a, quite a big one over here. I think he saw it too. It's like quite a large one. Yeah, dude. Right over here. Ooh, this, this is going to be a tricky one. Um, probably gonna want to use a wood to get over there. So let's get down a little bit lower. Um, probably like, maybe even like down there. And then we should be able to get over there. Here we go. Okay, we're over here. We've, <laughs> we put, we made separate areas, but we made it over here. Gotta break it very carefully because it's right over the lava. Uh, but luckily if we build these little supports, it's, it's just high stakes. It's just high stakes, okay? But I'm, I'm not nervous at all. I got a buddy here helping me. Seriously though, I mean, I, I don't know how, but Trumpery Rhymes on every single stream. Like, I mean, it's it's like a constant. Every time I stream, he's always around me helping out. Very, very wonderful person. Okay, so I believe there should be enough glowstone. <gasps> no! Oh, wait, I think it fell right there. Could we fall that far and get it? Probably not. Um, I think this will be enough glowstone. Maybe another one. And we should be good. Um, let's go over to here and get this one. <laughs> Me and Tremfrey totally didn't fall from like all the way up there. <laughs> oh, there's a big one over here. Nice. Okay. Oh, and there's some bone over here too. I mean, part of living underground is going to the nether. There's no, you know, I mean, not really. There's not really an underground nether, kind of. There's kind of caves, but they're not really caves. And I really want all this bone over here. So we'll, we'll go grab the bone too. Maybe we'll grab the quartz as well. Got lots of stuff to do here in the nether, okay? The quartz is definitely a good thing to get just because it's a nice white material. It looks really good. Um, oh, and there's a glowstone pocket right here. I was just looking at that, but I didn't see this one right here. Let's go, dude. Nice. And then I'll go grab the bone, and then I'll meet you guys back at home. <gasps> Another glowstone over here, too. Let's go, dude. Oh, the luck is insane. Nice. Okay, now, I think we have enough glowstone now. Uh, we got the bone blocks. Also got some soul sand and some soul soil. Probably enough glowstone. The only question now is, has this been raided? Um, yeah, I mean, someone already built something right here. I just really want the nether wart from it. So maybe we'll try to get up in here and see if there's any nether wart. Um, I don't know. I'll report back once I figure that out. Oh, okay. Well, this definitely doesn't have nether wart. Someone was in here making, it looks like some sort of... There's some sort of mob farm going on around here. I don't know where, but like obviously there's some sort of something going on here because you can see like all the buttons on the ground to prevent spawns. So I don't think we'll be finding any nether ward in here, but I am curious where where's this spawner at? Like where did they where are they where are they making a spawner? Let me, let me try to figure this out. Oh, oh now he fell on the ground. It's okay. Oh, it's so funny. We keep falling, man. I don't know. We're, we're just not doing too hot. Well, you know what? I don't really see anything else over here, so I say we just go on back home. I love how I've been building with wood in the nether as if that's like a great building material, but yeah, I think we're going to go back home. Thank you for the help, Trempery. I appreciate it. Okay, so I think we're going to call it for today's episode. Man, this thing looks so cool. Um, honestly, I, I may end up like, you know, 
changing it to where the bottom and the top are kind of even and you kind of walk into it and fall into the nether portal because I think that would be fine too. Um, because right now it, it does look a little lopsided because these are three wide and then that's two wide and that's one wide. Let's go ahead and even it out and make some stairs. That could be really cool. It's also kind of dark up there, but I'll hang some soul lanterns or something. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so there's no stair type variant of this, the chiseled deep slate. Um, but you can see I just kind of extended the portal out a little bit. And then we'll just do like, you know, a nice like little random pattern. Uh, we don't have to be like super even with it or anything, but... Yeah, something like this. I think that'll look interesting. Um, yeah, there we go. And now we can go into another portal. We will fall into it, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. And then I'll probably end up making some walls. And yeah, I'd say that's a pretty cool nether portal, man. I, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit proud of this one. I think it looks pretty nice. Well, thank you guys for watching today's episode. The secret code for today's episode is going to be... Now, hopefully by the time we come back in next episode, we'll have enough wheat to hopefully fill in the hay floor on this barn and get the cows moved in. Because I'm tired of looking at the cows. They're just sitting in like, you know, the most basic looking, like, oh my gosh, we need to clear some trees. The most basic looking fence thing over here. But yeah, I really encourage you guys to come on the server. Come try it out. You guys can come into Neo Town wherever you want and uh, look at everything. I and mean, look how nice it's looking, man. Look at the area outside our base. But thank you guys very, very much for watching. Thank you guys for playing on Neo Network. All the info you need is down in the top pinned comment and in the description if you would like to play on your phone, your Switch, your PC, your Xbox, your PlayStation, whatever you got, we support it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Secret code is going to be 9823. Put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!